In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Apple's Freeform app to help me make my video thumbnails. The first thing you'll want to do is go into the App Store and search for the Freeform app. It should already be installed if you're running iOS 16, but if it's not, you can tap on the magnifying glass to bring up the search page and type Freeform, all one word, with a capital F on free, to find the app. The reason I'm searching for it, even though I have it installed, is because I'm going to take a screenshot of the icon. Just take a screenshot with your iOS device and crop that screenshot so the icon is showing. In this example, I'll be using a black background so you won't see the black corners on the final thumbnail. The icon will appear to have rounded corners just like all other Apple icons do. The easiest way to get a PNG image to put on your thumbnails is to take the icon directly from the App Store in this way. When you've got the icon cropped, tap on Done and tap Save to Photos. Now you've got a copy of the freeform icon saved to your camera roll. Documents within the freeform app are referred to as boards. Tap the new board icon to create a new board. The first thing I'm going to add is the copy of the icon I just captured from the App Store. Tap the photo icon, choose photo video, and the icon will appear on your board here. The next thing that you need to do would be to move the icon up to the top of the board. You can move all elements within Freeform around the board. Tap on basic and choose a basic square. These squares will represent the colored squares on my thumbnail. I need two of them because I'm going to take two of the colors from the freeform icon. The red color of the circle and the blue color of the square. Each one of these default squares will be given a custom color. Once you've created your two squares by tapping on shape and selecting them, select each shape in turn and tap the fill color circle from the shape tools. Tap the multicolored circle in the lower right and you'll get the standard color grid. Tap on the color picker, which will open a color picker. Long press and drag the color picker over the color that you want to capture and the selected square or selected shape will turn that color. Select the second shape, tap the multicolored circle once more. After tapping the fill color, the color grid will return, tap the color picker once more, and move the new color picker over your second color. Once you've selected a color, take your finger off the screen and the selected shape will be turned the exact color you selected. Freeform was created by Apple and launched with iOS 16.2. It's basically a gigantic whiteboard, but it can be used to make graphics for videos or video thumbnails on YouTube. Using this app, you've got access to all the shapes that Apple has to offer. Previously, you would have had to use something like Keynote. Take three different screenshots, one of the freeform icon, one of the red square, and one of the blue square. Just crop the screenshot accordingly so that each element is showing. Let's start with the blue square. Move the crop handles like this. When you're done, Tap on Done and tap Save to Photos. Be sure to bring the crop handles right to the edge of the colored square. Tap Done and tap Save to Photos. Now take another screenshot. This time let's capture the red or salmon colored square. Take another screenshot and crop it in the same way, excluding the freeform icon and the blue square that you've already captured. Move the crop handles like this to capture the salmon colored or red square. Let me know in the comments what color you think that is. Once more tap on done and then tap save to photos. The colored square will be saved to your camera roll. Then you'll be able to use it in CapCut 
or whatever video editor you choose. Repeat the process one more time, but this time crop the screenshot, the third one in the sequence, so that only the freeform icon is visible. If you've watched my videos before, you'll note that I always include an image of the app icon on all of my thumbnails so you, the viewer, can tell what app I'm working with. Here's a tip if you're a YouTube creator like me. The app artwork displayed in the App Store is already a PNG image. That's why I showed you how to capture icons from the App Store and crop your screenshots so that you're left with just the app icons. Next, open your video editor, start a new project, and bring in a photo. Select the photo like this, scroll over, tap on opacity, and bring the opacity all the way down so that the background appears black. Tap on the check mark and go back to the main toolbar. Next, swipe over and tap on format. As this is a YouTube thumbnail, the format will need to be 16 by 9, so it looks like this. You still have the black background. Go back to the main toolbar once more, and this time add the other images as overlays. Make sure that photos is selected so you can see all of your photos. First, I'm going to add this photo here, move it over to the right hand side of the thumbnail like this. Make sure that this image fills the entire right hand side of the thumbnail. Tap anywhere on the screen to deselect the image once you've got it big enough and in place. Then tap add overlay once more and start adding the color squares, add overlay. When you do, you'll see that photos remains selected. You can select the blue square and swipe over and tap on mask. In this example, I'm gonna use a film strip mask because it'll make it appear as if the colored square is a strip across the screen. Add the second colored square. You can adjust the mask after you apply it. Make sure that you make it the same length as the blue one, as two layers of text will appear over top of each of these colored squares. Adjust the masks as needed. You want to make the masks as narrow as possible so that the colored squares just appear as strips on the black part of your thumbnail. Your thumbnail text will appear over top of these colored squares. Once you've got your masks applied, just tap on the check mark. You can select each colored layer and adjust it as needed. Pinch and zoom to adjust the size and position. Next, tap on Add Overlay once more, and this time add the freeform icon. I usually like to place the icon at the top of the thumbnail. You can pinch to shrink the icon down, long press and drag on the icon to move it into position. Now you're ready to add your thumbnail text. Most YouTube educators will tell you that there should be no more than four words on a thumbnail. Type the text that you want to include on the thumbnail. For now, leave it in the center of the screen because when you choose the font, the size and position of the text may change. Then tap on font, scroll down and choose the font. Just tap on a font you like to choose it. The text will automatically be changed into that font. You can pinch to make the text bigger or smaller. Make sure that the text fills the entire colored bar. This is an element of my thumbnail design. Once you've got the text placed how you like it, you can copy the text layer to make sure that all properties of the text are the same. Once you tap on copy, a second text layer will be created that says the same thing. To change the text, tap where it says create and the keyboard will appear. Delete the text in the text box and type the second word that you want to use. I'm going to say create graphics because this thumbnail is actually for a future video in this mini series where I show you how to create interesting subscribe, like, and share logos using the shapes found in Freeform. 
it is difficult to make shapes other than squares and rectangles inside CapCut. Once you've got your second text layer typed out and spelled correctly, just long press on it and drag it into position. That looks great. CapCut is a video editing app and therefore does not have the ability to take snapshots. So you need to take a screenshot of your completed thumbnail. Crop the screenshot so that only the completed thumbnail is visible. Then tap on Done and tap Save to Photos. Your completed thumbnail can be uploaded using the YouTube Studio app. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.